Hello and welcome to another Shed Weekly. Today is Wood Wednesday and we have a good show today. Well, not really, because they're never good. But anyway, today we're going to be talking about the new boot liner I'm doing for the Land Rover, which is behind me there. So, what am I doing? At the moment, there's laminate flooring in it, which is about this thick, and it's just a bit boring, really. I had loads of pallets, so a few months ago, I got some of the pallets I've got over there, and I thought, let's make a new one. So I got the pieces, here's a long piece, and here's another long piece, and there's two shorter pieces, that one I think I cut. So I did this ages ago, cut all the pieces, then I stopped doing it and gave up, gave up and just put it over there. But then recently I thought, I'll get on with it again. So I got all the pieces, which were all cut to length quite well by me previously and so I started doing it again so what I managed to do was get them all glued together with the sash with the sash clamps which are just over there which I'll show a picture of here and then I glued them all together which meant I had pieces like this I did them in sections of threes whereas the middle ones are four sides of threes so we've got this then the four and the another three one push and there's a the middle four one so what these do is these, I might put magnetic strips on the back which will then go onto the bottom of the boots and then they go in and then what I might have is some clips but I don't need them so I just need to have the magnet, magnetic sticky back pad things. So at the moment they'll go like this, like that, in the back of the car. I hope you can see that. I'll put a picture up anyway over there. So what we've got, another, no, no, no. What we've got is another time lapse of how I did it so it'll be the Sanding of it, did a lot of sanding because that's in the boots, so it needs to be nice and smooth. Luckily it is smooth, otherwise I've got loads of splinters from that, but I haven't, so that's good. Sanded it all down and then I use a plane for once, I haven't used a plane in a while, that should be, should be here. Anyway. This is the plane I used, it is quite an old one, it is made in England, so that's how old it is. And basically I thought, this, this, is, too, this is a centimetre too wide in the car, so instead of sanding down a centimetre, I thought I'd do five mils and I realised I've got a plane, I've got two actually, I've got a small one and a big one, this one's older than this one, so this one's not as sharp. So, I got this and I thought, what's a plane for? Oh yeah, doing this. So I managed to get down five mils either side, so you'll have the, that yeah, I was going to say, that side should be dyed, and that side is the plane side where I played it. So now, that can be wedged into the back of the car, rather than it being too big, so that's what I've started on now. So it's worked out quite well, started off as pallets, I'll get a piece of wood from over there. I should have planned this really, and here we go. So I had a pallet, started off like this, well, started off like that, a pallet behind me. I'm actually, no, there's some up here. There's a small pallet, got the pieces, this one's got nails in, need to get them out. Started off with that, that doesn't match any of them. Glued them all together, used the wood dye, and what I need to do now, I don't know why I'm walking off very much, just put that down there. So what I need to do now is varnish it. So actually no, I don't need to varnish it. I need to cut a little square out on the middle one, because on the back of the car there's this, you've got the two pound there, a little square. I need to cut that little bit out and then it'll all slide in, in line. So I need to cut that out, dye the ends a little bit, dye them a little bit, so they won't see them, but if they lift up a bit, dye there. Then I need to use some clear varnish, it'll help protect it and make it shiny, because at the moment, not too shiny. Well, it's quite shiny though. Ages ago, I made this walking stick, and it has got, has got a shine still left on it, which is the same guy from that. And I'll compare it there. Maybe because it's a bit of a shine, maybe not, but hopefully it's the same dye because that's the type of colour I like. I like mahogany type colours. Not sure if you can see me, but anyway, so that's what I did. The time that's behind me, that I'll be showing the whole sanding process. I went from about five different grits or three different grits. I think they're called grits. I hope so. To do that, make them quite smooth, they are going to be in the boots, I don't want to make this perfect so I am going to throw stuff in. And yes, yeah, so that's the sort of thing I've been up to. The bench episode, I'm going to carry on at some point because I haven't done any more to it, you'll see it on the floor in the time lapse. So yeah, that's what I've been up to, hopefully it'll be all sorted for this thing I'm going to in Huntington. It's a gala thing, so if you're nearby, it's in the York area. Go to that, you'll see me in the car, this will be in the back hopefully. Well, I, well no reason, we could go in now, but just need something that bit sawdust on it and that's about it really so thank you for watching and like and something was a bit rushed down now i'll talk a bit i'll talk do a pop ending the next thing to do is to varnish it and that'll be what you'll see on the next wednesday 
Oh, it might be the next two weeks on Wednesday. Next Wednesday could be a bench, and then I might have the car next. It depends which one I get doing. So I need to get this one done in the next week. So I'll probably focus on this and start doing the bench again. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do this idea, I have this in the back of your your car because I'm sure someone else has done this in the back of their car before. Send us a picture. If you like the idea, let me know that you're going to do it. And yeah, thank you for watching and like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to the very, very, very end of the video where I'm just going to point out two things. One, this tie is very nice, got it a while ago. This is, I've not been told to say this, but I thought I would because I don't see, I don't know if anyone's really got these. They buy a company called Wooden Ties. Don't have a clue why they've called themselves that. But yeah, it's a very nice thing. It's got elastic in it so it can move a bit. I shouldn't have done that really. Bendy, very nice. And another thing, I went to Fortnally Dale show today and I saw this green belt. But it wasn't just, it was, so I had this, I had this green belt, I saw this hanging up like that and I was like, that's a very nice colour, it's like my car. Then it turns out what he does was, he, what, he, what he does was, turns out what he does, you choose a belt buckle and then you choose the leather, leather strap, well, leather belt, and then he attaches it for you. So, what do you think I went for? So I thought, green matches my car basically. So there's a green, and then look what I found, a very nice PSA tank badge. It's not an actual badge, of course, it's a belt buckle. But I thought, well, let's combine two things I like. The Land Rover Green and BSA. Put those together and you've got yourself a BSA belt as such. That goes in there. That goes in there. And there you go, you've got a nice little belt. I think this is really nice. So nice as such, I'm going to give the details to the guy who did it. Who is also, which is very funny, just, there you go, I'll put a picture, a really nice picture of it, hopefully, which I'll take in a minute. Some here, it'll pop up now. I don't have a green screen, so I'll have to disappear for a bit. What am I going to grab? Oh, I was going to grab the card. It turns out, it's the same guy who passed me the card like this. Yeah, so here's his details, which I'll put below if you'd like to contact him or whatever about getting the belt, because it's really nice, nice quality. He also did it in front of me, so I put the video up him, oh, put the video up of him, him. I'm messing it up now. Put the video up of him doing it. And what he passed to me as well is he's also associated with the Pickering BSA, well not BSA, Pickering air guns. But what's funny about that is I'm looking for a BSA air rifle to go with my BSA bicycle and one day my Bantam, which is a type of hen which I saw today as well, so that was quite good. So I'm looking for an air rifle by BSA at this Pickering place and the guy I spoke to is the guy who works there because the phone numbers are the same so there so the belts and the picker and air gun place are the same thing so that's very funny that I've gone to him and bought that and I'm going to probably go to him or someone who he knows and buy a gun which will be hopefully another episode I'm not going to use it to kill animals but I'll use it to do target practice such as cans and stuff mainly for the name is it raining? I hope no I don't think it is it's very, very windy anyway this belt really nice. I'll take a really fancy good pic fan really fancy good picture. That'll make sense. Nice picture of this. I do really like it. If you've ever seen me at a show or anything with my Land Rover, I will wear this. This is going to be the show belt. At the moment, it's got a normal belt on. But any time I'm in my car or on the Bantam, once I get one, look for this belt. I will. I need to buy like a red Bantam now. It's not red. Need to find a different one of these. But there we go. Really nice. So yeah, thank you for watching this bit, which is a bit dragged on now. It's meant to be quite quick. So yeah, thank you for watching. Keep saying so. Yeah, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, the subscribe button is down there somewhere. Unless you're watching it on the mate on the what's it called channel. If you're looking at it on my channel, it is up there. You can click it here. I put a link here. It'd be fancy if I could make it move, but I won't. Cause it's an annotation. But thank you for watching and like and subscribe.